Well, good morning, everybody, on this Super Bowl Sunday. You can believe that. January is long gone, and here we are. Super Bowl Sunday, and then next Sunday, Valentine's Day. So time is just moving on, isn't it? Anyway, welcome in. Uh, this morning, I'm joined by Marion Marlene Bottenfield. And Marlene is going to start us off with the lighting of the Christ candle. Good morning, everyone. In the beginning was the one, the one presence of the undivided and unmanifest pure spirit of life, light and love. In its generosity, it shared itself, its consciousness and its love in the visible form of creation. We acknowledge this presence within us and as us, the creative energy of the divine feminine and masculine expressing in all our giftedness and creativity. We acknowledge this presence in our companion Mother Earth and in all sentient beings. This universal presence in everything we call the Christ. We light this candle as a visible reminder of that Christ presence expressing in and through us in this present now moment. It is the truth. Let us own it. Thank you, Ali. So my talk title today is Living the Threefold Story. And we will get into the meaning of that a little later. And overall, our theme, of course, in February is love. It is the month of love. So that's our overreaching, overarching theme. And maybe you've been feeling a little constricted or locked in. So this morning, we're going to start with a really upbeat song by Faith Rivera. It's called Let It Out. So I'm going to encourage you all to let it out this morning. More strength than I've known I have within me Greater talent to express More courage I can muster More faith that I can show Oh, I am ready Turn it loose, turn it on I'm gonna bring it on Let it shine, let it soar Be brighter than before Dance and sing, do my thing I'm gonna bring it on Let it out. 
upbeat start to things this morning. And of course, what we want to let out, if I can get this to work. Hmm. For some reason it doesn't want to. I'm gonna have to press escape here. Hmm. Don't know what's going on. Give me a second here, technical difficulties. Okay, there we go. Finally decided to cooperate. What we're letting out, of course, is this uh, divine presence and divine light that is within us. And it is the great power in our lives, for our lives and for the world. And I have a beautiful poem that I wanna read as we start off this morning that fits in with this whole theme. Uh, Chelan, C-H-E-L-A-N, or it could be Chelan, I guess, Harkin. And it's from Susceptible to Light. And it says, the worst thing we ever did was put God in the sky out of reach, pulling the divinity from the leaf, sifting out the holy from our bones, insisting God isn't bursting dazzlement through everything we've made a hard commitment to see as ordinary. Stripping the sacred from everywhere to put in a cloud man elsewhere. Crying closeness from your heart. The worst thing we ever did was take the dance and the song out of prayer. Made it sit up straight and cross its legs removing it of rejoicing, wiped clean its hip sway, its questions, its ecstatic yowl, its tears. The worst thing we ever did is pretend God isn't the easiest thing in this universe, available to every soul in every breath. I uh, guess. A lot of truth in that, that we have removed God in the past, and especially in terms of the religions and have pushed God way out there, away from us and away from each other and from our interaction and experience. And so this morning we're pulling, we're pulling that presence inside of ourselves and anchoring it and embedding it there and recognizing it in ourselves and between us in our interactions. Okay, I think it's uh, time for the daily word. So once again, here's Marlene. The daily word for today is inner peace. I express the peace of God. <clears throat> peace, be still. With these words, Jesus claimed his authority and calmed the stormy waters. Following Jesus's example, I too claim authority. In a stressful moment, I center my awareness in the divine presence that lives in me and expresses through me. This divine presence is perfect life, love, and wisdom. It is peace that nothing and no one can disturb. No matter what may be happening around me, at the center of my being, there is always peace. It is an aspect of my divine inheritance, as near as my next thought. I release all fear and tension and embrace the peace of God. As I do, divine peace radiates from the center of my being. It clarifies my thoughts, calms my emotions, and relaxes my body. In every situation, I am a presence of peace. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust you. Isaiah 26, 3.
Thank you, Marilyn. So now it's our time, as always, to uh, pray uh, 